Okay. So, I'm just gonna keep pumping them out. I'm gonna keep pumping out. So when it comes to food, right? When it comes to food, we are all breatharians. We are all breatharians. Understand that the food is fake. All the food is fake now. It is not true food like it once was. It's it is fake. So what are we working? What do we? What does this mean? That is all placebo effect. Okay. All the food is a placebo effect. So we are already breatharians. Okay. You can go anywhere and see this. You can see that the only reason why we're alive is oxygen. Oxygen is consciousness. I'm not saying that I don't eat foods that are, you know, I still eat foods that are not from nature. And yes, the majority of the food that is at a grocery store is not from nature. Even the produce. It's from, it's, it's been hybridized. It's been cultivated. The cultivars. A carrot is not real. It's a Queen Anne's lace and a wild yam. Hybridized. Okay? So, what does that mean? That the food, the food no longer creates chemical affinity within our body. And it breaks our molecular structure to consume it. Because you're consuming something that has a broken molecular structure, right? To create a carrot, you have to break the molecular structure of the Queen Anne's lace and the wild yam. It's not real. It will not grow in nature without the aid of man. It will not. Please understand this. Please don't disagree with this and try to... You don't know. Please. If you disagree, then you just simply don't know. And it, you know, find a carrot in the wild and actually growing. Like the ones in the store that look like the ones in the store. You will never find it. Okay. Potato, same thing. Potato is not, it comes, the real potato comes from Peru and it's about the size of about a quarter, a quarter. Like it's like that big. So the point of the, the point of the video is this the food is not real we are already breatharians we already live by the breath we already live by the breath so veganism is not the the end it goes beyond okay so you would go from be being a carnivore or a, being an omnivore right to being a vegetarian to being a vegan then you would drop um, all of the fake foods, wheat, corn, soy, um, you know, all the, all the hybrid foods, carrots, potatoes, um, uh, rices, um, the majority of beans, um, pretty much all beans except for, chick except for chickpeas, almost all beans are hybridized, not real. Then you would go to raw vegan, then you would go to liquidarian, right? And then from liquidarian, you would become um, a waterian, and then you would become a breatharian, and then you would become our true essence, which is what? What are we? Light. So our true essence is a solarian. So the ve veganism is not the end. Um, we are already breatharians. We, we, everything is a placebo effect. The food that we eat is 100% placebo effect and it is drugs. We're drugs. We're all drug addicts. You know, and I, I'm not saying that I'm even, I'm not where I want to be yet. It's a journey. You can't become a breatharian overnight. I mean, like, you can't become a solarian overnight. We already are breatharians because if you take away the breath, you, you take away, you're dead, you know. So just understand, you know, be conscious of that. And um, not to say that, you know, it's a journey. You can't do it overnight. It's a journey. It's it's. It comes to this, right? You're raising your frequency. You're raising your vibration as you come closer to what the sun. That's what it all comes back to: is the sun, light, the source. We are light, and we're going back to light, right? Everything is light. If you eat meat, what do you think the meat? The, what do you think the cow got its at? The cow ate the grass. The grass got its energy. Or food from the sun. It always goes back to the sun. No matter what you eat, it goes back to the sun. Always. So, you eat, you know, 
so many people talk about the vegan diet and the benefits or whatever, but there's har hardly ever do they really break down what you're really doing is you're becoming less dense. You're vibrating higher because you're becoming closer to the sun or the source. You know, and then from, from veganism, you would go to raw vegan and then, you know, you, you would just get cleaner and cleaner and you vibrate higher and higher and you would tune into higher frequencies. And the, when you tune in, you do not own your own thoughts. Your thoughts are on a certain wavelength or vibration. So when you tune into the certain vibration, you tune your frequency into the vibration, you get the, you gain all the knowledge that comes with that, right? Um, all food is is um, is knowledge food is knowledge um, so you know it doesn't stop at veganism and um, it's a constant journey closer to the source closer to what you truly are which is light vibrating at a variation of vibration um, and you know it, there's, there's there's nothing to disagree with that I mean this is the thing like if you don't understand it, then you, it's okay not to under, or understand it, but it's, don't, you know, if you know anything about science, you know that vibration, frequency, and frequency is, that's what the, that's the secrets of the universe is vibration. Everything, every single thing you see is vibration. It has to be. How else could it possibly exist? Is vibration, you know, so, um, so yeah, as you raise your vibration by eating foods that have a higher vibration, you will in turn gain knowledge um, you, because you're tapping into a higher vibration, right? Um, and of course, meat being the most dense, this is why, this is why we need to stop eating meat, you know? And because um, it, it's so dense, it vibrates so slow. It keeps you so, it, it keeps you at that frequency. You know, it keeps you at that vibration, I should say. Um, so, you know, and, and, you know, people would say I'm crazy for thinking that we are solarians. Or people would call you crazy, but people, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, people would say that if you didn't eat meat or dairy, you're crazy. You know, if you, people would look at vegans 25 years ago, like, are you, you're, you must be insane. Like, you know what I mean? And now it's like, clearly it can be done. Like, it's not even a question. It can be done. You know, if there's hundreds of fucking vegans, there's hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds all over the place that you can see that it's possible as people have lived to a hundred years old It's it's the information is not new that you can be vegan So so understand that I'm trying I'm trying to shatter your belief systems. What is belief systems BS bullshit? Okay, so I'm trying to shatter your belief systems and make you understand what you realize what you may think You know, you know nothing about the food you don't know most likely, you know, I'm not trying to say that I'm not, this is just simply talking to my, everybody's a reflection to me. So when I say this, I'm just talking to my own reflection. But when I say we don't know anything or you don't know anything about food, because I'm just saying, you know, you are my reflection. You don't know anything about food. Okay. Trust me. It, it's so, it, it gets so much deeper. It gets so much deeper. It's all a placebo effect. It's all a placebo effect. And when it comes to these nutritionalists on YouTube or whatever, nobody knows what they're really, they're just repeating what other people have said. They're parrots. They're parroting what other people have said. Do you really know what protein is on a, on a, on a, on a, on a you know, do you really know what protein is? No, you can just say it's a chain of amino acids and there's essential and non-essential. Okay, but what is it really, you know? So, I just want to break the belief systems and break the, the fact that we think, you know, at one point you, people thought you have to eat meat or dairy or you'll die, you know? And now I'm trying to break the belief systems that we can go beyond that. We can go beyond veganism. You can go, you can survive off of water. Yes, it's been done. You know, shatter your belief systems. Understand that what you know is not the end. You know, and it takes, and this is the thing, the strongest, it takes strength to do this. Okay, do not think that you're weak because you're wrong. I, I'm wrong every day, but I evolve. I realize what I do wrong, and I evolve, and I, and I, you better bet I'm not staying stagnant. People say I change all the time. You change, you change. Yes, of course I changed. Why would I want to stay the same? 
why would you want to stay the same? Change is good. Constantly change. So I'm probably not going to be a vegan my whole life. I'm going to be a raw vegan eventually. And then from there, I'm going to go farther and go to liquidarian and do all these things. And so, you know, just understand that um, I'm trying to shatter your belief systems. And, um, and know that what, what you may think you know, you, you know nothing about. And it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know. The true strength comes from being able to admit you're wrong. And, it, and move on from there. And you're not going to learn if you don't. How are you going to learn if you if you think you have every single thing that you need to know? How are you going to learn if you if you already know? If you so if you claim you already know, I know that you don't know because I don't know. Okay, that's that. Food is a placebo. It's all placebo effect. Understand that we are already breathing. Peace, love.